Hey everyone, it's Jess from School for Life. As we close off the end of the financial year, I wanted to say thank you so much for your loyalty and commitment to the students, teachers and communities we serve in Uganda. After a tough couple of years, our team in Uganda has emerged stronger and more resilient than ever after tackling the challenges of the school closures. In January this year, we were thrilled to welcome our largest cohort of students through the school gate. Thanks to your support over the past 12 months, we enrolled another 450 students, continuing the delivery of quality education, healthcare and nutritious meals to 1,400 students from early childhood all the way through to senior four. We completed construction of our senior boys boarding facility in December last year and in January opened the boys and girls boarding houses, which are currently home to 400 students. All of our Primary 7 students passed their primary leaving exams and we're proud to share that the top three performing students were all girls. We piloted a menstrual health management program where our Primary 7 students successfully produced 2,000 menstrual hygiene packs which were distributed to the students and surrounding communities. With statistics anticipating 30% of students would not return to school in Uganda following the school closures, our community and welfare team have provided counselling and individual support for students, identifying vulnerable students to ensure all of our students were motivated to get back to the classroom. Our senior girls participated in an eight-week mentorship program aimed at developing their self-esteem and independence. We hired 12 new teachers to bolster our growing student numbers, and we have provided ongoing professional development across a range of areas, including student-centred learning methods, we set up a third healthcare clinic at Mbazi High School. Our community and welfare team conducted outreach programs, including COVID-19 preventative messages, how to discipline children, menstrual hygiene management, and the effects of drug and alcohol abuse. Our partners at the local health centre visited all three schools at the start of March to provide dental hygiene checkups for all of our staff and students. A UV water purifier has been installed at Mbazi Primary which provides our students with immediate, clean, filtered water. And a 70,000 litre water tank was installed at the Boys Boarding School to provide additional supplies of clean, safe water. Our rainwater capture is currently at 2 million litres. In Australia, we've been equally as busy. Our CEO and founder, Annabelle, and her husband, Mark, welcomed their baby, Charlotte Poppy, in December last year. We welcomed Helen Caldwell to the team as acting CEO, and Adrian Reve as chair of the board. We held our first giving day in November last year and our annual gala ball returned in May, raising over $1 million for the students, teachers and communities in Uganda. On behalf of everyone here at School for Life, thank you for being part of the journey to educate poverty out of existence. We can't wait to see what we'll achieve together next year.